We the people have had enough. And this is thoughts while thinking. And these opinions are mine. And us patriots has got to get back and take over our school system again. We've let it slip away. And uh, it's no longer uh, indoctrination ahead. It's been with us for a while, ever since they established the uh, Department of Education. They, uh, uh, under Jimmy Carter on October the 17th, 1979, is when he signed it into a bill. And our, uh, they've teamed up with the National Teachers Union, uh, and that's where it's been, and that's where it goes. And uh, well, we've got to rethink that uh, Department of Education. We either got to get it to where it's working uh, with the local folks or whether uh, we need to get rid of it totally. I think it's unconstitutional in the first place. And if you see, accept any kind of restriction on your free speech, then you hadn't been uh, educated, you've been indoctrinated because they just teach you how to uh, walk in their steps. And this uh, teachers union uh, are pushing this critical race theory in Black Lives Matter right out in the open now. They're not even trying to hide it. So we got to look at that and we got to do something about our education system. And the definition of education is the act of acquiring a specific knowledge to develop a reasoning and judgment. And indoctrination is a, a teaching a doctoring and inoculate an idea or a point of view to the point it becomes just propaganda. And that's the difference between the two in that we don't have education anymore. We have indoctrination. And a critical race, race theory is just uh, well, trying to change the history. And uh, we got to go back and uh, we got to tell them where it is. And they, we got to have the actual history of actual what happened and what's said. But right now, the education system is just pouring a critical race there in the minds of those little mush, and we've got to get it back to a local business. And uh, we've, we're being uh, brainwashed, and we've got a, a wrap around our brain. We've got to put it back where it belongs and start thinking. We've got to look at what's going on. And uh, we got the woke schools, and these bright little kids are going in there, and then they come out dead. Just like dunces, they can't think for themselves. They have to uh, follow instructions. And uh, the critical race, race theory uh, it teaches that the United States is fundamentally racist. Well, I don't believe that. I never have believed it. But they're pushing that uh, big old uh, communist fist in our face and right in their uh, nose, and they may uh, uh, hit us on the nose here if we don't do something about it pretty quick. Because they thinking that if you don't teach it, uh, if you can't teach it, it didn't exist. Well, it did exist. We our history is our history, and it's based on facts. And we got to get back to teaching the real history. And you know, as I watch uh, us generation rewrite history, uh, there's one thing I would know for sure that it's going to be misspelled and no punctuations. <laughs> I believe that. That's the way it is. And uh, now, the teachers union, they go on no strikes and they're about every couple of years and they want more big money. But it's for the students, it's for the children. And if it's for the children, it's okay. You got to remember that. It's for the children. And the National Teachers Union are just uh, marching and uh, trying to uh, push that critical race theory. They're right out in the open. They're pushing it and, they, and they're accepting it. It's part of their philosophy. And they're uh, funding uh, uh, all these uh, anti-parents organizations and uh, trying to uh, uh, cut down the uh, parents that have uh, been put into schools. And you got to think about that. And they're on strike. And they, uh, a guy that, uh, that's a part of the problem with our educational system. It's all there. And the brainwashing indoctrination, uh, they, they get through with you. You won't even be able to think for yourself to save your life. And that's the uh, education indoctrination American style. And it's just a part of that old communist uh, uh, agenda. 
And uh, they're throwing in this new deal right now about a gender confusion in these little minds of mush. They don't need to be thinking about what kind of sex they are. They, all they got to do is look in their diaper. <laughs> oh, and, and uh, you know, they ain't thinking about that. They can't even tie their shoe at this point. And uh, the indoctrination into just tearing down the whole uh, structure of our family government and the independence that we've known over the past years. And when your education system limits your imagination, it's called indoctrination. And that's what they're doing right now, is just limiting your indoctrination. And education is an act of an informative effect upon people's mind, indoctrination. Is education uh, similar, uh, but it's uh, not the same. It implants an idea, and it makes it grow. And uh, when we get back to this brainwashing education, our little kids are bright and uh, happy in time they get out of these brainwashed schools. They're just uh, little dunces. They uh, just can't even think for themselves. They just dance around to follow instructions. And we got to teach facts and not feelings. we got to get back to teaching reading, writing, and arithmetic and teaching these kids how to think. And the school system is why they don't think critically anymore is because they're not teaching them to think critically. And a fact is information minus emotion. And opinion is information plus experience. Ignorance is an opinion lacking information. And stupidity is an opinion that ignores facts. Well, we've got a lot of stupidity out there because there's lots of people that ignore in facts and uh, we got to get back to critical thinking and thinking critically. And we got to learn how to do that anymore. And we got to remember that uh, free speech is really important because without it, we wouldn't know who the idiots are. Now think about that for a little bit. That's something worth thinking about. And uh, critical thinking is reasoning and problem solving and evaluating. And we got to start teaching that in school again instead of how to follow instructions. And we got to do something about uh, uh, this uh, mass media and big tech that they're just brainwashing you too. Every time you turn around, you're being brainwashed. And it's just like these old frogs get boiled. Uh, you know, uh, if you keep trusting the government, we're just going to be not the only pronouns we're going to have is was and were because we can't have uh, men and women and boys and girls. So, well, no, we've got to get rid of that critical race theory out of our schools. And uh, problem one of the problems is that most people don't really want the truth. They just want constant reassurance that what they believe is the truth is the truth. And we got to get them to thinking and get them back to thinking and looking at what the truth is and reestablishing our freedom and stuff. And our school uh, boards are beginning to fight against this uh, national uh, teachers union that's uh, spewing out this Marxist hate and anti-American stuff. And we may get it back, but we got to get rid of that uh, uh, Department of Education, and but thanks for watching. And I hope you liked the video, and subscribe if you will, please. And it's adios, amigos, and we'll see you on the flip side.